Ford, Chevy, Chrysler, and Dodge. They're all represented here in Mike Fuller's Auto and Gas Museum. 22 cars make up his collection, dating from the teens to 53. I picked these cars up uh, out of Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Texas, Arkansas, New Mexico. I've been everywhere. That car right there is the oldest in the museum. It is a 1917 Dodge, but this 1923 Ford, this is where the collection started. The first car I bought after I got out of the Army was the little Model T Roadster here. That was 1973. Mike says after that, his collection of cars just kept growing. So did the memorabilia. The chase is what I really enjoyed more than anything. And he's still collecting. I try not to. I still buy some occasionally. Can't keep from it. He would explore estate sales and acquire things at auction, find old pumps and pastures. I still remember pretty much where they all came from, and uh, me and a friend of mine uh, went and got the majority of them together. From Conoco to Texaco, Sinclair, Shell, and Shamrock, original old signs cover the walls and hang from the rafters of this old school gym he's converted. The bleachers, now a display case for his treasures. There's 150 of the globes in the building, and they're all original except for about 10. Check out vintage license plates, oil cans, and spark plugs. If it has to do with an automobile from the past, you're probably going to see an original here. This is stuff I've always enjoyed. Dozens of die-cast cars, collectible cookie jars, and banks fill the entry room to the museum. Some of them he purchased, others have been donated, like these hundreds of Hot Wheels. And I was sitting in the other room one day, and I thought, shoot, I'd, these probably look pretty nice pinned up on the wall. so. I pinned them up and there's still 1,200 of them. The museum is free and Mike is down here almost every day of the week, but his hours vary, so you'll want to call ahead. He'll gladly open up if he knows you're coming. To me, it's, it's real important, it's history. And uh, to me, it's an art form. You know, people have designed all this stuff and it's not a painting per se, but it's all been designed and and your signs has all been designed by people, and it's just an art form for me. At Mike Fuller's Auto and Gas Museum in Inola, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.